Peace, peace, peace. Mind Ascension here. Peace to my 6 to 22 strand, 7 to 9 ether, you melanin, selenium base. Black guards that is playing. And I'm doing this YouTube video right now. I know it's been a long time since I did a YouTube. This is not going to be a long one. This is just going to be a YouTube addressing something very basic, extremely common with fucking humans. Stop expecting or stop constantly saying what you don't want as a form to not attract what you don't want. Do we not understand that the universe that you have now anthropomorphized, as humans usually do, taking something that is beyond humanity and projecting their own humanity into that everything and that all and that is, because what we call the universe is the all. It is not an individual being. It does not give a shit about your baby. It does not give a shit about you. It don't give a shit about people dying in Somalia. It don't give a shit about being enslaved in Libya. It don't give a shit about Russia. The universe don't give a shit about none of that shit. The universe responds to the seven laws of itself. The universe responds to frequency, vibration, and nature dictates your design. These things together are the polarized aspect of everything that you see around you. So when you're constantly saying what you don't want, the universe doesn't hear the don't. The universe only hears the command and the frequency and the connotation of the word that you're using that you claim you don't want. Today, I'm in my DMs <coughs> on Instagram and I'm sharing things. And in the first response to the females I share the thing with is I just don't want no narcissistic blah, 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 like a long list of all of these negative traits that they say and they don't want in a man. You can't focus on the negative things you don't want and expect them not to gravitate as you speak them into existence. Because when you're voicing your non-wants, when you're voicing the things that you disagree with, the things that you claim to hate, which, by the way, I hope you're voicing those things when you find the origin of those things, the source of those things, and find out how they came to exist before you decide to believe that those things are not for you or that those things are negative or not good because most of the shit that y'all motherfuckers think is not for you or that you think is something that you should not like or you should not want is actually a part of your design and nature and that's just a fact because you have been conditioned to believe everything that is equipped and that's conducive with your feminine design is something that is against you only because you're in a masculine mind the same way a man will reject any feminine aspect that dictates or, excuse me, that destroys his manhood. You don't have a fucking manhood to destroy, but you act like you do and you fucking don't. The bottom line, stop focusing on what you don't want, because the same focus on what you don't want will bring what you don't want. So instead, what you do is you reverse the affirmations of negatives. I don't want a narcissistic man. I will attract a man who thinks about me more than himself. Simple as that. I don't want no fat, ugly, you know, uh, unhealthy nigga. I want a man who values his health as much as he values his life. Whatever it is, stop being focused on the negative aspect of everything in existence in order to reject the negative aspect, but yet wondering why you're constantly attracting the same cycles of the same negative aspects. You don't ever look at the reason why you keep meeting narcissistic niggas, but other bitches don't. Same thing with the men. And, and most of the time, you know, it's funny because when I name feminine traits, the first response with women is, oh, oh, men do men are the, because niggas is bitches now. Y'all know niggas is bitches. You know how I know y'all know niggas is bitches? Because you got new terms for them called fuck boy and bitch niggas. So just the fact that you put bitch in front of nigga, you know that the feminine tendency dominates that male body. That's why you call him a bitch nigga. Y'all do this shit all the fucking time. Come on now. You know the shit, you're just acting like you fucking don't when it's in a time frame and it's in a moment that you want to defend some stupid shit that you've been taught and conditioned to defend. It's bullshit. And whatever the fuck you focus on, I don't care what it is. An apple, a balloon, a murder, a nigga cheating, 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 oh, cheat, 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 all that stupid shit. 
Already did a video on that. I know y'all don't like all that shit. I don't give a fuck. Tired of giving a fuck about shit. And I'm working on it. I'm always working on myself. I'm always working on pillar layers. I'm always working on expanding. Stop focusing on what you don't want. It's fucking stupid. Whoever has taught you that to pick out and to list the traits of what you don't want in a man or what you don't want in life has fucked up your frequency and has fucked up your magnetic nature. Because now what you're magnetizing is what you claim you don't want. And the other side of that, which is hilarious, is most of the things women claim they don't want, they seem to can't live without. Because when you do meet a man who doesn't have those traits that you claim not to want, that man is not exciting enough for you. He's not stimulating enough. He's not aggressive enough. He's not dominant enough. He's not assertive enough. He doesn't have enough backbone, so and so forth. So you're regurgitating fairy tale aspects of a man that sound good to the standards of this current recessive romantic Roman Greek society. That you've learned through your colonization Stories of Cinderella We ain't no fucking Cinderella's Okay All these stories Romeo and Juliet Motherfucker you are not from Rome And you ain't Romeo nigga Niggas wanna be Casanova And all this different shit All these different things They come out of Greek mythologies They come out of European fairy tales And because we are constantly following things That we don't know the origin of We don't give a fuck about the source We don't care to study We think we don't have to study And then wonder why somebody else is giving us our vocabulary Somebody else is telling you To call yourself a cis woman And me a cis man Which I refuse Refuse to accept And find extremely disrespectful But you have accepted Y'all never had a fucking meeting about that shit don't lie and act like you sat there as a woman with a whole bunch of rainbow ass niggas around you talking about do you agree with being called a fucking cis tumor? No, but you accepted it, didn't you? And now you're dumb enough to refer to yourself as that. Are you using your fucking brain? Look up what cis means. It means benign. It means common, but it means a fucking blister. So what are they saying? They saying you're straight heterosexual ass. You're just common. You're not normal. You're just common in society. And not only that, you're something that needs to be lanced like a blister, like a cyst, like a tumor. But because you're not thinking and you're just following or you're just reacting one or the other, you either follow what you told by the dominant white society or you react to what you're told from somebody who's not a part of the narrative or the dominant white society. And that reaction comes with rejection, ridicule, and condemnation. Stop constantly talking about what you don't fucking want. Because all you're going to do is keep attracting that shit over and over and over. The universe cannot tell when you're joking. The universe cannot tell when you're saying, I don't. The universe hears the words, excuse me, the universe reads the frequency of the words that you use. And then align you with that frequency. That's all the universe does. The universe is not a fucking person. It's not a being. It's not a father God. It's not a mother God. It's not any of that shit. It don't have bias. It don't have preferences. It don't believe in evil or good. It's a constant state of consciousness and expanding. Stop making everything a part of your new religion. Because your human brain can't leave the old religion. This existence is very simplistic if you look at it from a God mind and not from a human brain. Because everything in existence is seven laws. The only thing that truly exists in physical reality is the four plus elements. And the last part to you leaving this human brain and programming is the three keys. Divine ascension. Source knowledge, divine ascension, and infinite expansion. Haven't said those words in a while. Source knowledge, know the source of every fucking thing you decide to join. Don't join nothing without knowing where it comes from. You're stupid. If you join something and you do not know the history and the origin of it, you are fucking retarded. If you claim to know something and you don't have consistent references... 
and you don't have consistent things that lead to the same conclusion, making it truthful, you're fucking stupid. Source knowledge. Divine ascension. After you find the source of everything that you possibly can, now it's time to ascend into divinity through yourself. Self-deification. Realizing that to be divine, first you have to put certain things in order about your existence, about the cycle that you're in, about the energy that you conserve, about the frequency that you project. Get that shit together. Get that shit together. Then after that, peel away the fucking layers of humanness. Once you start peeling more layers away, you will feel yourself ascend. As you're ascending and realizing all of this shit is bullshit, then you begin by making yourself divine with specific rituals and specific practices to, a, to, a, to an intent of consistency and duration to the point where you begin to change your frequency, change your energy, change how you vibrate in life. And this comes in many different ways. And the beauty about this is when you're finally complete, all those things are become unnecessary now. All the herbs in the world become unnecessary now. All the onks, all the shea butter, all the crystals, all the shit becomes unnecessary because those are only tools to activate what your ass already is. To activate what you already destroyed by following European colonized brain bullshit since you were born. Since you were in the womb by your mother. And the last is infinite expansion. What does this mean? Never stop fucking learning. You don't know every fucking thing. Never stop fucking experiencing. Stop rejecting shit because you don't understand it. Stop rejecting shit because it fucks with your human belief. Stop rejecting shit because your human ego and brain doesn't like how it sounds. Anytime you reject something without having in-depth understanding, in-depth origins of what the fuck you're rejecting, that's your fucking ego. That is your ego. And when you reject something, you, re you reject a new experience and you reject a new layer of wisdom. Because every experience adds to wisdom. Every observation of consistency in existence adds to knowledge. Knowledge is the consistency of things in existence. Wisdom is the experience understanding the results of things in existence. You cannot have wisdom without the combination of experience and understanding. Anybody can experience something and have no fucking clue what it means. You're not wise. But when you experience some shit, you internalize it, you go through a retrospect, you think about it, you see it from the angle of yourself, you see it from the angle of the outsider. You look at every angle possible in the scenario and circumstance. And you feel each one individually And you bring them all together collectively And then you come to a conclusion About the scenario, situation, and circumstance You are now wise But when you go through some shit And you do oh, I don't understand what happened You ain't get shit from it And that goes with any fucking thing From the worst shit To the smallest shit Your humanity is your captivity your humanity destroys your manifestations. Your constant doubt, your constant worry, your apprehensions, your conditionings, your egos, your fears, your assumptions of shit you don't fucking understand. Destroys every aspect of so-called chakra within your body that allows the alignment for things to actually gravitate towards your ass in the first place. And none of this shit takes namaste, nothing. Activation comes with understanding. Activation don't come with having to meditate every fucking day. Am I saying that it won't help? I'm not saying that it won't help. But at the end of the day, don't make these fucking things religions. These are only fucking tools. That's all they are. The same way I use a hammer to bang in a nail. I don't put the hammer on a shrine after I bang the nail in the fucking wood. These things are only tools. Once you use the tool and you achieve the level by that tool, technically you don't need it no more. If you want to make it a lifestyle and all that, that's fine. But guess what? When you do that, you create a box. Now, guess what? You don't fuck with nobody who don't meditate. Oh, you don't meditate? I can't fuck with you. Oh, you're not a vegan? I can't fuck with you. Oh, you need to meditate. You need to be a vegan. You need to drink special fucking water. Get the fuck out of my face, Jesus freak. 
Because you's a Jesus freak, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you ain't say nothing about Christianity. You a Jesus freak, nigga. Your water's your Jesus. Your vegan's your Jesus. Your meditation's your Jesus. Your crystal's your Jesus. Enjoy. I'm calling this shit what the fuck it is. A goddamn religion. Because the definition and the etymology of religion means to bind and means to control. I bind you to something. When I bind you to something, what am I doing? I'm creating a limitation around you. I'm regulating around you. I'm making sure you do not step out of certain parameters. And then I control. Comes from the Latin. Religion. We are here to expand. We are here to experience every fucking thing in this physical body to combine with the spiritual aspect, utilizing sensations as the electrical conduit between spirit and matter. Did you hear what the fuck I said? You didn't come here to be a human to be a fucking human. Sounds weird, right? You came here to use the human body as a vessel and a conduit. Mind ascension, I love y'all. Get y'all consultations, man. 646-575-8305. Any subject, history, energy, chakras, pineal gland work, basic remedies, you know. I don't care what level you at. That's fine. I care about when you stop and get comfortable in a level. And then the level becomes your religion. Wherever you are, that's fine. Just keep fucking going. Keep fucking going. And always look at yourself first. You know, it's hilarious because humans love to go, be by yourself and don't let nobody tell you anything. Be your own master. But y'all bitches and y'all niggas don't look at yourself. You don't look at yourself. You always talking about what other people are doing to you. You always talking about what you don't want other people to be. But I ain't never hear you looking at yourself and saying what you're going to be better at. I never hear that from people. I never hear that. I don't want a man who's going to do this. And I don't want to. I want to be the type of woman who attracts this type of man. I don't hear nobody say that shit. You keep projecting what you want from others. But if you would be that nigga and be that bitch, others will become what the fuck you need them to be. Because trust me, when you project a certain energy, people get around you and they want to please you or they want to be like you. If you're a man, men want to follow you and women want to please you. If you're a woman, women want to follow you and men want to please you. You acting like y'all don't know this shit is the fucking truth. Be the epitome of your design. Be the epitome of your design, not the worst aspects of it. Mind ascension, I love y'all. Consultations, divinations, let me know.